Go on, go on. Space. Hits it and yes. Swansea Jan Dander is both angry and hurt. Last week, the Swansea City star left the pitch to find a racist message waiting for him on Instagram. Something he'd always thought he would brush off if it ever happened to him has affected him deeply. It did affect me a lot more than I expected. And when I went home, I was, I was quiet. And the next day at, at training, I weren't really my normal self. I was a bit reserved and a bit a bit shocked and upset still. Dander is far from the first high-profile footballer to be targeted online with racist abuse. Premier League stars Marcus Rashford, Anthony Martial and Rhys James and James' sister Lauren, who plays for Manchester United in the WSL, are among many others who've recently been sent offensive messages. Instagram has since told Dander the person responsible for abusing him has been banned from sending messages for the time being. Their policy is only to delete accounts of repeat offenders. If anything, they've just added, added fuel to the fire. They just get blocked from messages for a few days or a few weeks or whatever it is, and then they can get right back to, to doing it. So they've proved to the people who are sending the abuse that they can, they can get away with it. As Dander spoke out today, Arsenal striker Eddie Nketiah became the latest player to be racially abused online. In marked contrast to Instagram's response, Twitter immediately suspended the account it came from. On the face of recent evidence, the symbolism and slogans are not yet working. The power to make the biggest difference rests with the social media companies. But Jan Dander is proof that some are reluctant to take the decisive action most are demanding. Steve Scott, ITV News.